Hello, my name is Josiah. I'm from Group 2. Um, today we are going to talk about um, how to take care of a respiratory patient and just some basic things about it. Okay, come. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? Hello. Okay, so from the first instance, you can see that our patient is lying supine. This is really not comfortable for um, patients who have respiratory disorders, right? So, first things first, we have to... Hello, please, could you sit up for me? Do you need a little bit of water? Okay. Could you come back a bit? Okay. Um, how, how, how's the man? It's better. It's better now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so positioning the patient in the fowlers or high, uh, high fowlers or normal fowlers position, right, is going to help, you know, with congestion. She's not going to be struggling to breathe, you know. Yeah. And in case we had come in and the patient was like very dysnic, we would have put her in a tripod position or an um, autopnic position. Also, um, next to the patient should be our tissues, you know, for the sake of today we are using our very trusty t roll <laughs> tissues and maybe a sputum um, container for in case she wants to spit out. And that sputum container is usually placed under the bed. So, you know, it doesn't, someone must, will not kick it when the person comes in. Uh, sometimes too, when you come in, you see the patient is on oxygen. You just have to make sure that the, the rate is flowing properly. I'm assuming the oxygen is that over here. The rate is, it's, everything is working adequately. And if the patient is coughing, you tell the patient to cover, you know, the, the nose with um, a piece of cloth or some of the trusted tissue we have over here. Um, Make sure you ask the patient if there's any new complaints for the day. Is there any, is there any issues today? Okay, and then before you leave, make sure you check the sputum container just to assess, before you discard it, you assess the sputum container to see if the color, to check about the color, you know, if it's mucoidal, etc. And as usual, before you come in, wash your hands. After you leave too, you have to wash your hands because it's a respiratory patient she might um, you know she is contagious for all intents and purposes um thank you very much